For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir has been one of the top performing artificial intelligence software stocks in the market this year, boasting a remarkable year-to-date return of 156%. This success can be attributed to its accelerating revenue growth and the strong business momentum generated by its artificial intelligence platform, which was released last year. What truly distinguishes Palantir's artificial intelligence platform from others in the software as a service industry is its ability to foster noticeable growth across several artificial intelligence related metrics. Palantir has achieved not only real returns for its business, but also significant value for its customers. The artificial intelligence platform has propelled Palantir into a league of its own, standing out as one of the few companies outside of the major cloud hyperscalers that is capable of delivering such tangible results through artificial intelligence. In this video, we will explore how Palantir's artificial intelligence platform puts the company ahead of competitors like like Salesforce, MongoDB, and Snowflake. We will also look at the tremendous growth it has driven and the underlying factors contributing to this undeniable success. Since its launch, the artificial intelligence platform has had a transformative impact on Palantir's business, particularly in its commercial segment. An undeniable turning point in Palantir's growth trajectory occurred after the release of the platform, a development that has not been replicated by other artificial intelligence peers. Palantir has reported substantial growth in its United States commercial operations, which continued to gain momentum in quarter two of 2024. This surge is largely driven by what the company referred to as unprecedented demand and for its artificial intelligence platform. The data supports this assertion, with key figures illustrating the platform's impact. United States commercial revenue grew by 55% year over year, reaching $159 million. This was an increase from the 40% year over year growth reported in quarter one. Moreover, the number of United States commercial customers expanded by 83% year over year to 295, while the total number of United States commercial deals closed rose by 98% year over year year to 123. Palantir also saw a 103% year-over-year increase in the remaining deal value for United States commercial operations. Meanwhile, the total contract value in this segment surged by 152% year-over-year to $262 million. According to Palantir's chief revenue officer, Ryan Taylor, one of the clearest indicators of the company's success is the growing number of existing customers who are signing expansion deals, many of which are directly tied to the company's artificial intelligence platform. It is worth noting that the growth in Palantir's United States commercial customer base had begun to stagnate in late 2022 and early 2023. However, following the release of the artificial intelligence platform in quarter two of 2023, customer growth reaccelerated. During quarter three of that year, the number of new customers grew by 20, a significant improvement over the six new customers added in quarter two of 2023. By quarter four of 2023, Palantir saw an impressive net addition of 40 new customers, further emphasizing the impact of its platform. Platform. This recent surge in commercial customer growth mirrors the acceleration Palantir experienced after its initial public offering when it rapidly became a market favorite, seen as a key player capable of driving growth in the commercial sector. Between quarter four of 2020 and quarter four of 2021, Palantir's commercial customers grew by nearly five times. Now Palantir finds itself back in the spotlight as a stock market leader with a unique and unmatched artificial intelligence offering, which has reinvigorated its commercial growth trajectory. This research stands in stark contrast to the struggles faced by other artificial intelligence focused cloud stocks, which have been unable to generate similar growth fueled by artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, Salesforce, a major cloud software company, has reported only modest revenue growth. In quarter two of 2024, Salesforce recorded an 8% year-over-year revenue increase down from the 11% growth it reported in quarter one. Subscription revenue growth for Salesforce also slowed, rising by just 9% year-over-year in quarter two, compared to 12% in quarter one. The company is expecting further deceleration, with a projected 7% year-over-year revenue increase in quarter three. For the full year, Salesforce anticipates growth in the range of 8 to 9%, which underscores the challenges it faces in realizing significant gains from artificial intelligence. Additionally, two of Salesforce's key artificial intelligence related products, MuleSoft and Tableau, experienced substantial slowdowns in quarter two. MuleSoft's growth dropped sharply from 27% year over year to 13%, while Tableau's growth declined from 21% to 11%. On the other hand, MongoDB, which is another prominent player in the 
cloud software market faced an even steeper decline in quarter two. The company struggled to secure new workload wins and saw growth in its Atlas product slow down. In quarter one, MongoDB posted 22% year-over-year revenue growth, with Atlas growing by 32%. However, by quarter two, MongoDB's growth rate had dropped to 13% year-over-year, with Atlas growth slowing to 27%. For the remainder of the year, MongoDB is expecting approximately 14.6% growth, a significant decrease from the 31% year-over-year growth it achieved in fiscal 2024. You should also know that Snowflake, which is another leading cloud company, also experienced a deceleration in growth. Its product revenue growth slowed from 34% year-over-year in quarter one to 30% in quarter two. While this figure slightly exceeded the company's guidance by three percentage points, Snowflake's growth is expected to slow even further in quarter three. Management has forecasted a 22% year-over-year increase in product revenue for the upcoming quarter, representing a more pronounced quarter-over-quarter -quarter slowdown. Snowflake's full-year product revenue growth is projected at 26% year-over-year. Although management has expressed optimism about the company's early progress with artificial intelligence products, no visible turning point or acceleration in growth has yet emerged. In sharp contrast, Palantir has seen significant acceleration in its top-line growth over the past four quarters. The company reported a 27.2% year-over-year revenue increase in quarter two of 2024, fueled by robust United States commercial revenue and a notable acceleration in government revenue. Palantir's year-over-year -year revenue growth reached its lowest point in quarter two of 2024. At 12.7%. Since then, the company's revenue growth has surged by 15 percentage points. Palantir's government sector remains a key driver of the company's revenue, accounting for nearly 55% of its total revenue. In quarter two, United States government revenue growth accelerated to 24% year over year, up from 12% in quarter one. Overall, government revenue grew by 23% year over year, up from 16% in quarter one. Palantir's management noted that the company was selected for several major government contracts in quarter two, making it the strongest quarter for United States government bookings since 2020. Among these contracts was a major production agreement with the Department of Defense's Chief Digital and Artificial Intelligence Office, which included an initial order valued at $153 million. The total value of the agreement could reach $480 million over a five-year period. The acceleration in Palantir's government segment was a significant contributor to the company's overall revenue growth in the quarter. This highlights the importance of the government sector to Palantir's long-term success. These high-value long-term government contracts contracts provide Palantir with consistent recurring revenue and financial stability, allowing the company to invest in scaling its artificial intelligence platform, improving its margins, and increasing profitability. Palantir has demonstrated strong performance this year, outpacing its major cloud competitors due to the success and uniqueness of its artificial intelligence offering. The company has managed to strike a perfect balance between government contracts and artificial intelligence-driven growth, benefiting from both its strong government presence and the rapidly growing demand for enterprise artificial intelligence intelligence solutions. The primary challenge Palantir faces moving forward is its valuation. Currently, the company is trading at 34 times its expected revenue for 2024 and 29 times its expected revenue for 2025, making it increasingly difficult to justify its valuation. Historically, even the top names in the software as a service industry have struggled to sustain revenue multiples above the low 20s. However, Palantir's strong growth, driven by its artificial intelligence platform and government contracts, could help maintain its elevated valuation in the near future. Palantir's standout performance so far in 2024 compared to its software as a service peers can be directly attributed to the strength and uniqueness of its artificial intelligence platform. At its core, this platform allows enterprises to leverage Palantir's artificial intelligence and machine learning tools and harness the power of the latest large language models through its Foundry and Gotham products. Gotham was Palantir's first product designed for government agencies in the defense and intelligence sectors. It enables users to uncover patterns hidden within datasets using semantic, temporal, geospatial, and full-text analysis. It also includes mixed reality capabilities, allowing operations to be conducted in virtual environments. Gotham's graph function enables users to view data objects as nodes and edges, while the map feature tracks geolocated objects, performs searches, and displays key information. Foundry, on the other hand, was built for the commercial sector and is centered around the three-layer ontology core. This core links raw data from data sources to business use cases, ensuring optimal use of resources.
Through Ontology, users can evaluate key metrics and measure progress toward goals while integrating new developments into the system. Palantir's artificial intelligence platform seamlessly integrates with both Gotham and Foundry, allowing customers to gain deep insights from vast datasets and significantly improve decision making. The combination of Palantir's proprietary artificial intelligence capabilities, unparalleled expertise in data management, and growing government and commercial customer base positions, the company as a leader in the artificial intelligence software space. With strong demand for its platform continuing to fuel revenue growth, Palantir is poised to maintain its dominant position well into the future. Overall, Palantir has been a standout performer in 2024, achieving a 156% year-to-date return, primarily due to its artificial intelligence platform, which has driven significant revenue growth and business momentum. AIP has set Palantir apart from competitors like Salesforce, Snowflake, and MongoDB, helping the company achieve 55% year-over-year growth in United States commercial revenue and an 83% increase in commercial customers in quarter two. The platform has also driven a sharp up uptick in government revenue, with the United States government segment growing by 24% year over year, supported by major contracts, including a deal with the Department of Defense worth up to $480 million. Palantir's unique AI-driven solutions, seamlessly integrated with its Foundry and Gotham products, have enabled businesses and government agencies to enhance decision-making and achieve real-time insights, positioning the company as a leader in artificial intelligence. However, its high valuation poses a challenge as it seeks to maintain its growth trajectory. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.